Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa problems involving sets. What you will learn today, apply set operation to solve a variety of word problems. Solve word problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. So let's start our lesson with exploration activity. So entitled Trip to Palawan. So sana all ay nakapunta ng Palawan. So we all know that Palawan is one of the beautiful places here in the Philippines. So it is well known for its mga nice places katulad ng mga beaches. So we have El Nido. We have the Coron. And we have the Tubataha Reef. So here is our problem. A group of 50 students went in a tour in Palawan province. Out of 50 students, 24 joined the trip to Coron. 18 went to to Bataha Reef. 20 visited El Nido. 12 made trip to Coron and to Bataha Reef. 15 saw to Bataha Reef and El Nido. 11 made a trip to Coron and El Nido and 10 saw the three tourist spots. So, ito yung isa sa mga problem na related sa, uh, sa sets. Kung mapapansin nyo, napakadaming given, right? So, paano natin ma-analyze yung gantong problem for us to be able to answer those guide questions na related dito sa ating problem? So, ganito yung ating gagawin. So, una, list all the given, then draw the Venn diagram. So, Venn diagram yung nakakatulong sa pagsasolve ng mga problems sa sets. So, ilista muna natin lahat ng given. So, 10 students. So, yung sa tatlong tourist spots, which is the El Nido, Coron, and the Tubataha Reef. So, 11 students, both Coron and El Nido. 15 students to Bataha Reef and El Nido. 12 students, Coron and to Bataha Reef. 20 students, El Nido. 18 students to Bataha Reef. 24 students, Coron with a total of 50 students. So, ngayon ay naisa na natin lahat ng given sa problem. So, ngayon gagawa tayo ng Venn diagram. So, we have the rectangle. So, that will serve as our universal set. And then, yung ating first circle, dinote natin siya as C for Coron. And then, our next circle, na nag-overlap dun sa C, ay T for Tubataha Reef. And then, for our last circle, ay letter E for El Nido. So, una, ilalagay natin yung 10 students sa my 3 tourist spots. Again, nag-start tayo doon sa my three tourist spots. So, that is C, intersection T, intersection E. So, saan natin ilalagay? Doon sa may pinaka-gitna. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga students na pumunta doon sa, sa tatlo. Next, we have 11 students for Coron and El Nido. So, that is C intersection E. So, doon tayo titingin sa dalawang circle, sa C at E. Ang 
Ang ilalagay natin ay 1 since there are 11 students. So, we just subtract 11 minus 10. Doon sa intersection ng tatlo, kaya ang ilalagay natin ay 1. Next, 15 students to Bataha Reef and El Nido. So, T intersection E, doon tayo sa may circle T, tsaka doon sa circle na may E. So, ang ilalagay natin ay 5. So, we just subtract 15 minus 10. So, ang ilalagay natin doon ay 5. Next, 12 students for Coron and Tubataha Reef. So, doon tayo sa, pin, uh, sa may taas, sa dalawang circle sa taas, yung C at T. So, that is C intersection T. So, since there are 12 students, we just subtract 12 minus 10. Kaya ang ilalagay natin doon ay 2. Next, 12, uh, 20 students El Nido. So, El Nido ay 20 students. Ayan, i-add lang natin yung 10 plus 1 plus 5. Subtract natin sa 20. Para malaman natin yung El Nido only. So, 10 plus 5 plus 1 is 16. So, 20 minus 16. Ilan is student yung pumili sa El Nido? So, apat. 18 students sa Tobataha Reef. So, ilan kaya ang pumili ng Tobataha Reef only? So, we just add 10 plus 5 plus 2. So, we have 17. So, 18 minus 17 is 1. So, isa lang ang pumili sa Tubataha Reef. Sa Koron naman, which is 24 students. So, we just add 10 plus 2 plus 1. That is 13. So, 24 minus 13 so, 11 sa Koron only. And then, lastly, so, we have a total of 50 students. We just add 11 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 10 plus 5 plus 4. Again, i-add natin lahat ng numbers na nasa loob ng circles. Yung pumili ng Koron, Tubataha Reef, at nung El Nido, or kaya naman nung dalawa or nung lahat. So, which is 34. And then, we subtract it from 50. So, that is 16. Yun yung ilalagay natin sa labas ng circle. Doon sa may rectangle. So, sa universal set. So, that is neither. Ibig sabihin, walang napili doon sa tatlong na mention. So, that's how we solve problems involving sets. So, in, uh, in solving problem, application of the knowledge in sets and the use of Venn diagram and sets operations are necessary. So, what are the steps in solving word problems? 1. Analyze the problem. 2. Identify the unknowns. Number 3. Represent or use Venn diagram if possible. Katulad na ginawa natin kanina. And four, label your answers properly. So, those are the steps in solving word problems. Okay, sabayan nyo kung sagutan yung uh, ating given problem. So, there are 40 students in a class. 12 of these students like mathematics. And 25 of them like science. If five of the students in the class like neither mathematics nor science, how many students like both math and science? So, it seems na napakasimple lang ng ating problem. Pero paano natin masasagutan yung problem using the set operations and Venn diagram? So, ang tinatanong, ilan daw sudyante ang pares na gusto yung math and science? So again, so let us list all the given to draw the Venn diagram. So 12 students like mathematics, 25 students like science, 5 students, neither, ibig sabihin wala sa dalawa yung kanyang gusto, a total of 40 students. So, let us uh, draw the Venn diagram. So, paano po kaya natin masosolve yung problem? 
So, sana po ay masabayan nyo po ako kung paano po masasolve yung problem. So, we have our Venn diagram. So, we have first circle for M. That is for mathematics. And then, the other circle is for S. That is for science. Ang una natin gagawin ay ilagay yung neither. Sa natin ilalagay yung 5 na neither sa labas. Iksan, wala daw pumili doon sa math or science. Okay, so 5 yung sa labas ng circle. Ibig sabihin, wala daw may gusto ng math or science. So, we can denote yung math only as the number of M minus S. So, mathematics minus science. And then, yung gitna naman, pwede natin i-denote as the number of math intersection S. So, ibig sabihin, parehas na gusto yung math and science. Kapag naman, science only, that is the number of S minus M. So, the number of science minus M para makuha yung science only. So, gagamitin natin ito para makapag-equate at masolve yung ating problems. So, wherein ang total na pag pinagsama tong tatlo ay 35 because we have 40 students, tama? So, pumili ng math only, science only at parehas ay 35 plus 5 sa hindi pumili. So, a total of 40 students. So, it seems nagagawa tayo dito ng systems. No, systems ang gagawin natin para makapag-solve tayo. We're in, eto. So, yung number of M minus S at yung number of math intersection signs ay 12. Because there are 12 students na pumili ng math. So, pwede rin naman gawin to sa signs. So, the other, uh, other way around. So, ano po yung gagawin natin? So, gagawa tayo dito ng equation. So, the number of M minus S plus the number of M intersection S plus the number of S minus M is equal to 35. Ano yung ating equation 2? So, yung kinuha natin kanina na number of M minus S plus the number of M intersection S equals to 12. And then, we need to change all the sign para makancel out natin. Yung the number of M minus S, tsaka yung the number of M intersection S. And then, bring down natin yung number of S minus M equals to 35 minus 12. That is 23. Ibig sabihin, 23 yung like ang signs only. So, ilalagay natin siya doon sa my circle. So, 23. Since 25 students like signs so, ilan yung ilalagay natin sa gitna? So, we just subtract. So, 25 minus 23. Dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, 23 yung pumili ng science only at dalawa yung pumili na gusto yung science, gusto rin ng math. So, ganun din naman sa math. So, 12 yung math. So, therefore, ilan lang yung pumili ng math only? So, there are 10. Okay, so pag pinag-add natin yung 10 plus 2 plus 23, ang total nun ay 35. So, sagutan na natin yung tanong kanina. So, thus, two students like both math and science. So, sana ay meron kayong natutunan kung paano mag-solve ng problems uh, involving sets. So, it's your time to answer your activity. So, have fun answering.
So that's all for our video tutorial. So don't forget to like and share it to your friends and classmates. So thank you for watching. See you in my next video. God bless us all.